Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing five super cute Dollar Tree bunny themed Easter DIYs. So let's get started. This DIY is a super cute little bunny diving into a pot of carrots. I have this white yarn from Dollar Tree and I'm using it to make a large pom-pom with this pom-pom maker also from Dollar Tree. First I'm opening up one side of the pom-pom maker, then I'm wrapping the yarn around the semicircle part of it. And I'm going to keep wrapping until the yarn is in a straight line along the bottom of the pom-pom maker. Then I'm folding it back into the center. Now I'm wrapping the other side of the pom-pom maker with the yarn in the same way. I'm cutting off the ends of the string, then using my scissors, I'm cutting through the center of each of the sides of the pom-pom. This is a little bit tricky because the yarn is so thick, but I just kept going through kind of one layer at a time until I got through all of the yarn. Now that I've cut through both sides, I'm taking a longer piece of yarn and folding it in half and then weaving it through the center part of the pom-pom maker and tying it in place. This is going to keep your whole pom-pom together. I'm unfolding the curved parts of the pom-pom maker again and then pulling out my pom-pom. Using my scissors, I'm trimming down the pom-pom into the nice circular shape that I want. And I'm using a hairbrush to brush out the pom-pom to make it a lot more fluffy. This larger pom-pom is the bunny butt, and now I'm using a smaller pom-pom maker to make the bunny tail. I'm using the exact same method as before, unfolding the pom-pom maker, then wrapping the yarn around the two sides, and then putting it all back together and cutting through each of the sections. Now I have my tiny little pom-pom that I'm trimming and brushing through. This is a terracotta pot I got from Dollar Tree that I painted white on the bottom. And I'm going to fill it with this Spanish moss. For the bunny's feet, I'm using this sheet of white Foam, and I'm holding it up against my pot with the large pom-pom just to get an idea of how big I want the feet to be. Then I'm tracing them out with my pencil and cutting them out. Now I'm using a pink Crayola marker to draw out the pads of the feet and the little toes. Using my hot glue gun, I'm attaching the tail to the bunny butt. And I'm also hot gluing the feet onto the bottom part of the large pom-pom and also to the top of the terracotta pot. To put inside of the pot, I'm using three of these small carrots from Dollar Tree. And I'm taking out these carrot toppers because I don't think they look very realistic. So we're going to replace it with something else. I have this green filler grass raffia type stuff and I'm taking bunches of it and then hot gluing them to the tops of each of the carrots. The next DIY is this super cute Easter bunny sign using a Dollar Tree calendar page. I'm using this farm fresh calendar from Dollar Tree and I'm flipping to the April page because we're going to be using this cute little bunny. First I'm cutting it out to be a circular shape. I'm using this oak gel stain from Deco Art to stain this wood round piece from Dollar Tree. I ended up covering up basically all of the sign with the calendar page and other decorations, so this ended up not being a necessary step, but I do think this color looks better than what's normally there, 
So if you were doing a different project that you could see the background, then I think this is a great idea. I'm just using a glue stick to glue on my calendar bunny page to the sign. I have this really cute Easter ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm using it to make a large bow for the top of the sign. I'm making one large loop and then two other loops that are progressively smaller than each other. Then two more loops after that that are progressively larger than the center one. To hold my bow together, I'm using white pipe cleaners and I'm wrapping them around all the sections of the ribbon and tying it in place. Now I'm hot gluing the ribbon to the top of the sign, then trimming off the ends. I have this pink and blue vinyl from Dollar Tree and I'm using it to make a little vinyl decal for my Easter sign. First, I'm going into design space and I found this Happy Easter SVG that I'm going to modify a bit and use. I'm deleting the bunny ears and the little dots and keeping everything else. I'm making everything the same color for the purpose of just wanting to cut it all on the same mat, but I attached Happy Easter together and then I separately attached the two flowers together because I will be using two different colors and this just makes it easier to line up my little colored pieces of vinyl on the Cricut mat. For the Dollar Tree vinyl, I've seen a lot of people say they use the washi tape setting, so that's what I'm doing. I'm selecting washi tape and light pressure for the blade. And you can see here how I have the pink section at the top and then two little blue sections where the flowers are going to get cut out. And I'm smoothing those down with my Cricut brayer tool. In the weeding process, I did lose the happy part of Happy Easter. It was just a little bit too small and delicate. It didn't really work. And I decided not to retry it. I'm just going to stick with Easter and my two blue flowers. I'm sticking those vinyl pieces onto the bottom of my sign. They're not super easy to see with the busy calendar background, but I still think it adds a cute little extra element. For the edges of the sign, I'm going to be wrapping it with this jute twine. I'm hot gluing the twine all around the sign and I'm wrapping it around four times to cover up most of the background of the sign. You could definitely do this before you glue the ribbon on top. That way you could just keep going around and around. But since I did already have the ribbon up there, I just went until right underneath it where you couldn't see it anymore and then curved it back and wove it around the other way. This video is part of the five under five challenge hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic and co-hosted this month by Tammy from Happiness Created. The challenge this month is to create five Easter decor pieces for less than $5 each. I'll have a link to the playlist below in my description box, so make sure to check it out. This DIY is a set of two cute little Easter bunny signs. I'm using these two 5x7 canvases from Dollar Tree. And first I'm painting them both with this acrylic paint from Plaid in the shade Country Twill. create the look of wood on these canvases I'm using a little bit of burnt umber and I'm lightly dry brushing it in horizontal strokes on each of the signs 
and I'm blending it out with this white paint also from Dollar Tree very lightly going over with some of this white and then I'm going back and forth with some more of the country twill color and the white and the darker brown until it's all nice and blended and giving the wood look that I want. I'm going to be cutting out two large white bunnies on each of the canvases. To get an idea of how large I want the bunnies to be, I'm creating a rectangle the size of my canvases. Then I'm importing this bunny SVG and resizing it to the size that I want. Then I'll delete the rectangle and duplicate the bunny so I have two. And now it's time to cut it out. I'm using the matte white vinyl from Cricut and I'm sticking them onto each of the canvases. I didn't bother using transfer tape for this since it's such a simple image. It's not that hard to just stick right on there. It did take a bit of maneuvering around to get it lined up how I wanted it to be, but it wasn't too hard. I'm using this burlap ribbon to make some mini roses. And first I'm measuring out an eight inch section, then cutting it off. Then I'm cutting this piece in half, so I have two long skinny strips of burlap. I'm taking one of the strips and adding a line of hot glue, then folding it in half. And now I'm tightly rolling this piece of burlap ribbon together, and this will be the center of the rose. After a couple of tight rolls, I'm switching to taking the piece of the ribbon and slightly twisting it, then hot gluing it in place. And I'm continuing to do this all around. And this will make it so the rose is opening up a little bit and you're not just left with a rolled up tube of burlap ribbon. It definitely took a few tries to get this how I wanted it to be. But once I got the twisting and then the gluing in place, it really started to come together. This is the finished tiny little rose. Now I'm going to make another one with the other section of ribbon. These two little rosettes that I just made are going to become the bunny tails that I'm hot gluing onto the bunnies. Next up, I'm making a little bow tie and a ribbon for our Easter bunnies. I'm doing the same thing as before, where I cut a strip of the ribbon, then I'm cutting that strip in half long ways. I'm pinching the center together to form a little mini bow. Then I'm adding some little dots of hot glue to hold the center of the bow in place. And I'm doing the exact same thing with another piece. And one of them is going to be a little bow tie and one is going to be a hair ribbon. This DIY is a black and white buffalo check Easter bunny sign. I have this large bunny sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover it with this black and white checkered vinyl also from Dollar Tree. I'm tracing out the bunny onto the vinyl. Then I'm going to cut it out and stick the vinyl onto the bunny. I have one of these large styrofoam balls from the dollar store and I'm cutting it in half and this is going to become the bunny tail. I'm hot gluing it to the bottom of the bunny. I have this pretty cream colored lace ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm using it to make a bow for the bunny. But instead of making an actual bow, I'm cutting small strips and then laying them across diagonally and then making a kind of a bow that way. I'm hot gluing all the strips of ribbon in place until my bow is nice and full and how I want it to be. Then I'm taking this white pearl bead and hot gluing it to the center of the bow.
This DIY is an Easter sign with a bunch of cute little Easter bunnies. I'm inserting two bunny SVGs into Cricut Design Space. These are very similar but slightly different. One of them has two flopped over ears and a cotton tail, and the other one has one ear pointing up and a heart for a tail. I'm duplicating them so there's two of each, and I made a rectangle the size of my sign so I can see how big I want the bunnies to be. Then I'm deleting the rectangle and making all of the bunnies the same color so I can cut them out. Here they are on my white cardstock. I'm painting all of the bunnies with this paint from Dollar Tree in pink, blue, green, and purple. It took a few coats to cover up my cardstock with the paint, and then I'm letting that dry before attaching them to the sign. This is a sign from Dollar Tree, and I previously painted the edges a dark brown and the background white. First, I'm arranging all my bunnies onto the sign, then I'm using a glue stick to glue them all in place. At first, I had them more centered on the sign, but then I did move them up a little bit towards the top because I'm using these letter tiles from Dollar Tree to spell out Easter along the bottom of the sign. And I'm hot gluing all of these letters in place. I didn't have an extra E, so I'm using an F and then taking a black pen and adding a little line on the bottom there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments which of these five Easter Bunny themed DIYs was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.